Hey, what's up, guys? I'm BJ Dell, and this is episode five of Cartooning 101. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to draw cartoon noses. I'm using an iPad Pro and Procreate for these tutorials, but these are not digitally based tutorials. So if you don't have an iPad, if you don't have a tablet, do not worry. Just grab a piece of paper and a pencil, follow along, and keep watching. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and hop into today's video all about how to draw the nose. And if you watched episodes one through three of this Cartooning 101 series, we talked about drawing the nose in there, and it was just kind of a brief mention and a brief tutorial, and I said I would kind of dive in a little bit deeper in a episode all about the nose, so that's today's episode. Go back and check those out if you haven't watched those yet kind of learn some of the techniques that we learn. And this starting out is one of those techniques. In that series, I showed you exactly how I start out the nose with the triangle shape. It's basically a larger triangle set on top of a smaller triangle here. And then we're gonna go ahead and kind of start adding in some extra parts to this. So I know a lot of people watching this series might be new to art, might be new to drawing, and I kind of want to deconstruct everything to make it as simple and as easy to understand as possible and kind of make you a better artist by understanding all the building blocks that go into making these designs. So this round circle here, we want to make sure it touches the corner or the sides of the circle here or the triangle here and the sides of the triangle here. This is going to be that bulbous center portion of your nose and that's the kind of round shape that it's going to take. So the next part that we want to do is where these connect here, the circle and the triangle, we want to pull out this until it hits this corner here of the triangle and bring it back down around. This is going to be the outside parts of your nose that kind of house that nostril part down here. So going to the other side, we want to do the same thing here and pull these out and around. And the goal here is we want the left hand side and the right hand side to kind of match up. We want those to be the same size and the same shape. Uh, this is a key part here. If you're going digital on these tutorials, one thing I would recommend against using is, uh, especially in Procreate, the symmetry function. No, you can kind of draw on the left-hand side and it's gonna repeat it here and mirror it on the right-hand side. And to be quite honest with the human face, it's not necessarily perfectly symmetrical from left to right. So it's gonna look a little weird if you try to take that shortcut and make these exactly the same by using that tool. So I would just go through and actually use just the hand-drawn technique on this. It's gonna turn out a lot better. So from here, we're going to go ahead and take a point here in the center of the nose and draw straight up. And we're gonna draw a line that breaks this in half again and you'll see this one's a little bit off here so we'll kind of adjust these so this is going to break the nose in half again and from here we're going to take a dot from here and bring this down to about where those two circles connect right here and the same thing on this side, bring this down where those two circles connect. So now we have a triangle shape here. So you can, we pull out here, you can kind of see there's a nice start to the bridge of the nose. You can kind of see how the nose forms down here. And just doing these templates really kind of set us on the right track to make sure that everything is exactly where we want it to be. So now that we've got those laid in, let's go ahead and draw on top of this and kind of darken in everything so we can see what's going on. So we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And the first part that we wanna do is start with the nostrils. These are gonna be just off to the side of where the main circle comes up. So if we pull this line here where this triangle comes up, We'll start a line there, pull it up till it comes and hits that circle and pull it back down and pull over and up and back down again. And you'll see I'm following the kind of 
direction that the circle goes i'm not following and tracing the circle though and the reason why is because the nose itself it's not that perfectly round shape also when you come down here you'll see that i went and kind of squared this off a little bit so i'm going to back this out and you can watch as i do this again to see exactly what i'm doing so the septum is the area down here and the septum itself is not a perfectly rounded circle so if you even want to draw in this line initially so you can kind of see where the septum goes and then as you pull this down and around you'll pull into that septum area then you pull this back up and around and like i said i'm not following and tracing that circle i'm just going with the shape that it makes and that's the whole key to using these shapes to block out everything is it's not an actual shape that you trace. It's just a shape that you use to kind of follow along and set everything up exactly where it's supposed to be. So one more time, I'll back out so you can see this from start to finish again. We'll go up here until it hits that line. We'll just do this on this side too so you can see and everything will be even. So we're going to bring that up back down. And let me actually draw on the septum here. So we've got everything kind of lined up, up, down, and around to the septum to where it blocks off, goes straight across, back up, and around, and down. So just a really nice, like, fluid line to give you the perfect look there. Personally, when I do this, I kind of like to use just one fail swoop to make the line. It just makes it a lot smoother and gives a just more kind of even look to everything so that is definitely something that you have to kind of play around with to get comfortable but that's kind of the technique that i use i'm going to clean this one up a little bit over here okay so we've got all that set in so now we can kind of darken in this section here this is where the the nostrils are going to be so we can kind of darken in under here and the same thing in over here I'm just going to kind of dark up to the top and then dropping my stroke down towards the bottom to kind of lighten it up as i go down this is a technique you can use if you're you know using pencils or charcoals and then also if you're using digital uh, medium you can do that with just the pressure sensitivity so that is the the basic shape of the bottom of the nose next thing we're going to do is work on these side parts that kind of house that nostril section so once again we're wanting to use these as a guideline we're not wanting to trace that circle because everything's going to be really basic and plain if we do that so what we're going to do is we're going to start up here just kind of pull up down and around and it's going to trail off into that bottom part that houses the septum and down and around and trail off into there you'll see i'm basically trying to make the left and the right hand side appear about the same function about the same without actually like i said just tracing from one side to the other or using that symmetry tool we just want to have that that overall balance look so now that we have that we can put a line in here that's going to break, basically break that top and that bottom into two different sections. This is going to be good to add a shadow underneath here so it kind of appears that that bottom part is set in a little bit and it's going to show that underside of the nose a little more. So for here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with this line here that runs across the center. And we're going to pull this up until it hits the circle right here. Then we're going to start to pull it back down. So we start over here on the side where it hits up and back down. And then the bottom is going to basically follow the shape and the flow of that bottom line that the septum is done with. So as you can see this, it's coming around back up and over. So once again, this is one of those areas too, that I like to use just that fluid line, just one line to start and then continue over and down rather than kind of doing the sketch look to it. The pencil will cooperate here. Like so. And that basically knocks in that bottom portion of the nose and gives us a good line to use for shading. So let's just knock in some shading down here real quick. Once again, this is where, you know, if you're using 
charcoal or pencils. It's a really quick and easy shading technique just to knock this in underneath to kind of build up some dimension and some, some weight to the nose. If you're using digital, this is the area that you would basically start out with, you know, your color flats, knocking in the base colors and then opening up a separate layer for, you know, shadows or highlights, and then using your, your shadow layer down underneath here. And then you can darken it in to where you might not want this line to be so, you know, distinct. It might want to have it blend in a little better. So just kind of play around with that, see exactly, you know, what kind of technique you want to use to make all that line up. Let me try to get this in a little bit better here. Yeah, a little too dark. A little too dark. There we go. So you can see just building up that shadow there underneath. That's got a kind of nice cross hatch pattern to it now. So that's the bottom of the nose. Now we can work on the top of the nose. And with that, what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to kind of follow this circle line around. We're not going to actually just trace this circle. And we want to kind of give those angled looks again to the overall shape. So you'll see what I'm doing here. And as I go up on top, I'm going to kind of square this off and around just like I did with the septum down there. And when it pulls down over here, just kind of pull it in this angled look. So that's going to give you the, the basic round shape to the nose. And then from here, we can do the bridge of the nose. Usually for the bridge, what I like to do, uh, starting out, if you draw some other lines up like this, and that'll be the kind of the widest portion of the bridge at the top. And you can kind of pull those lines off and down. So if we start up here and just kind of curve these down, as they come into relation to that triangle right there. So you see what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling these in. And this is one of those kind of, you just gotta try it a few times to make sure you've got everything lined up. And here, I wouldn't necessarily do it on both sides. It looks, like I said, very symmetrical, but for this case, I will do it on both sides just so you can kind of see that everything is lined up and the way it all works together. And there's the bridge of the nose. So that gives you just kind of a jumping off point, a starting point that you can use these different base shapes combined together to come up with a finished nose design. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And then we will start working on doing another design, basically using those steps. So we're going to go ahead once again and put our triangle in here. Make sure I'm on the right layer. We're going to put our triangle in. But the one thing I want to talk about is the triangle itself, the shape, the way that it stretches out from left to right and top to bottom is really going to define your nose. So knowing what kind of character you're drawing, knowing exactly what kind of features you want for that character is important starting out. So with this one, let's go ahead and draw a female character with kind of a cute nose. So to do that, we're going to make kind of a smaller nose. This top one's going to be angled a little bit more and be a little bit smaller. Same thing with the bottom here. This one's going to be angled a little bit more. So you see it's a little bit smaller, a little bit cuter already. And then we can go ahead and throw in our center circle here, our circles off to the side here. And break this in half here. Then our bridge, we'll probably draw our bridge in just a little bit more narrow since everything else is kind of narrower. And we've got our basic shape again, which is a little bit smaller and more compact than our previous one. So now that we've got that, we can kind of start filling in. And this one I'm going to do just a little bit different here. So instead of drawing the outside parts here that house the, the nostrils, I'm just going to go and follow this bottom line around and curve this up and around like so. So this is actually going to be that bottom section. It's going to be a little bit more kind of puggish and we'll just fill this in. Shade it in ever so lightly here. 
Okay, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and go ahead and knock in our nostrils here. So those we're just gonna do really short, kind of cute ones here. Not anything super dark or big and fill those in. So it's just kind of the notion of those nostrils there. It's nothing, you know, really drawn out or super big or wide or round. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of pull up our circle around the top and then down to the sides. And this is where then you can actually kind of shade in around the top here, add in some highlights and make a kind of believable shadow. So let's kind of lighten or darken this up, but just really kind of smudgy and this around as well. I'm going to go back here to the eraser and then kind of erase here on the inside to kind of add that highlight in the center. And that's going to kind of make and that nose a little bit more round and kind of build that out. So you can see pulling out, that's a, a really cute kind of tiny nose that would work well for, you know, female characters, especially if we add in, you know, the lips down here as it comes down, you can kind of see how everything would tie in together if we had the female lips and how kind of cute and almost like the uh, the pinup girl this would look. So there we go. Go ahead and delete those back out. So that is option number two for the small girl's nose. Now, taking that one step further, we're going to go ahead and draw out that triangle and just make it really wide here. So this one's going to kind of be like a heavy set character with a really wide nose. So we'll draw this in like so. Once again, we're going to do the, the bulbous part in the center. And of course, this one, since it's stretched out, it's going to be kind of like a smushed oval shape here. Likewise, with the sides, these are going to be kind of a, a smushed circle as well. And you see we kind of have this really flattened out nose. So we can go ahead and start darkening in here. And with this, the septum, I'm not going to bring it down to that kind of flat point. I'm going to keep it really round going from this side over. So we'll just bring this around like so. And you see it's a lot more round than what we did that first time, but it really works a lot better for this type of character. So really when you're starting out, just kind of de decide what type of character you're doing, what the, the overall look and feel of the features are gonna be so you can start to kind of plan out these drawing guides ahead of time. Now that we've got that, we can kind of draw in these side parts here. I'm zoomed in a little too far here. It's kind of getting jaggedy. And then bring this top around as well. The center line here. And then kind of shade in underneath. And then we can even do the Let's do the uh, bridge here. This is going to be super wide, super drawn out here. So you can kind of pull that in and down and you'll see it's going to be a really wide bridge that gives the appearance of that really kind of heavy set, bigger character. I'm going to shade this in a little bit more down here. And the same thing up here. You can, you know, bring the bulbous part around and then go back in and add in the, the highlights to kind of make that even more round. So there's three different types. And then lastly, talking about the size and shape, we can draw this out super, super long. So let's make the top triangle really, really long. Draw in our line here to break them up, our bottom triangle here. And then the bridge of our nose is gonna be super long as well. Draw our circle in here. I'm gonna actually warp the circle a little bit and have it like this. So then our sides are gonna be the same kind of elongated ovals here, bringing the center up and then back down. You'll see a really, really long bridge here. 
So this was what would happen if you start to really kind of play around with the proportions to a character. And from here, we'll go ahead and pull the septum down into the nostrils. Knock those in real quick. Like so. Then we can start to bring these around. We're just going like super angled and really big. But you can see they come down really far too. And then from there, we can kind of work on the rest of the nose, bringing this up and around. Back down this part here for the shading. We're going to actually pull this further down so this top looks even longer. And then when we shade in underneath there, it's going to make the, the bottom of the nose appear like it's set down even further. So that top is going to look even longer now. We'll throw in the shading there. And then the bridge, you can do something, you know, kind of funky, like it's really crooked here coming down, something like that. And it's really going to draw this nose out really far. This is good for, you know, making those characters with crazy proportions that just look really cool and look really neat. Something that's kind of your own and you can kind of build the story around the character. So that's basically using that same triangle technique and doing four different types of noses by stretching it up, stretching it out. Okay, so... Now we are going to take that exact same principle and just simplify it. So we're going to use the exact same technique. And I really recommend once we finish these, you'll see like, why did you go that complicated with drawing everything out if you were gonna do that? But once again, just getting the gist of why everything fits the way it does is really important. So even if you're going simple, I would still use this technique. I think it's going to be really important for your development as an artist and kind of understanding the way that everything ties in and is built in together. So I'm going to use this and actually I'm going to, this is why I use the iPad for these because I can save some time and just duplicate this stuff really quick and it makes it really nice and easy to do rather than redrawing this every single time these we're going to be using the exact same base and just drawing things just a little bit different on each so let's group these together and we'll drop the opacity on these so we can see them a little bit better once we draw over top. Now up here, we kind of went and drew everything a little bit more complicated, but with cartooning, that's one of the great things is you can really just go hog wild with kind of dropping the necessary lines to communicate the same thing. So we can, instead of, you know, getting up here and drawing every single little line here, you can really start to simplify things and you still get the message across. It still looks the same. So. Here, instead of drawing the nostrils in here and the septum down and everything else, we can kind of just pull this down all in one line. And that reads like a nose, just like anything else does. Uh, you can still, you know, put in the, the shadow line here if you want to. Otherwise, you could just leave it out and just put this line here for the top and draw your bridge lines down here and that works as a nose you can see there's a lot less steps to take and it's a lot quicker over here using the same thing we can take it one more step and we can just go ahead and draw let's see how i want to do this one we can actually just take this and just draw a basic round semicircle of course, it's kind of less than a semicircle, but still, you get the point. So this is super basic. And once again, why would you go ahead and draw all that out if that's all you're going to do? And honestly, I just want you guys to kind of see how this sets and why this is drawn the way it is. You can kind of see it gives off the same look, but you can tell this one. I kind of messed up here and should have pulled it over. But uh, 
for all intents and purposes. That's kind of what I was going for just to show you this is the way that you can kind of simplify things. So next one, let's go over here. And now let's kind of simplify this even more. Let's say for a female nose, let's just draw this. So this one's kind of spread out a little bit. This is for a female it's going to be a little bit wider than what I would do, but just for the uh, sake of argument, let's, let's use this and let's just draw a solid black triangle. So look at this super basic, but for a female nose, this really works well. It drives home, you know, what you're going for. It shows that that's the bottom part of the nose. Here, I'm not even going to draw that top part of the nose. It's just going to sit exactly like it is right now. Erase this part so you can see. So right there, that really reads, you know, quite a bit like a female's nose. If you're going for that kind of cute pinup. Like I said, I pulled in just a little bit to make it a little bit more pug-like. But uh, And then once again, uh, kind of going for like the heavier set character here. Let's go ahead and... We'll start here and really basic geometric nose. We will just pull this from one side to the other and up. So it's almost like a squared nose. And like I said, why would you do all that work if that's all you're going to do? And just really want you to see what the, the overall shape is and why it's set like it is. From here, we can add in just a, another swoop for the shadow. Then I'm going to kind of add to this one so you can see how it all comes together. If we were doing that heavy set character like the bouncer that we used in the previous videos, just pull out some mouth lines there. We'll do the actual mouth down here, bottom lip down here, and kind of shade this in real quick. And then pulling back here, you can see that works really, really well for that heavier set character that you kind of want to look a little bit imposing. So like a bouncer character or more like kingpin, that type of thing. So that shows you how you can kind of simplify using these and going into there. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the three quarters perspective. And this one is basically just the same as what we did before as far as using the triangles. The difference is, and I'll draw a three quarters perspective here just in case you didn't watch the previous videos. Three quarters perspective is kind of that side view. It's angled and everything's kind of set off like so. So that is the three quarters perspective. Obviously the nose is gonna be kind of turned and tilted a bit. So. What we're going to do is, once again, go back here. Everything on this left-hand side is basically closer to the viewer. Everything on this right kind of goes back in the distance at an angle. So it's kind of foreshortened back into the distance here. So to do that, the triangle itself, the side that's going to be on the left, is going to have a longer side than this right-hand side. That's step one. Same thing here on the bottom of the nose. That left-hand side is going to be longer than the right-hand side. When you bring this up, you can see the difference between the two. Shorter lines here, really long lines here. But now from here, we can start to build in, and it's going to be the same thing. We're going to draw in our circle here for the bulbous part of the nose. We can bring in our other circle here. Let's make the bulbous part a little bit bigger here. Bring in this other section here. That's where the nostril is going to be housed at. And then depending on your perspective, sometimes you're going to be able to see this back one. Sometimes you won't. So it's really going to be dependent on where that's sitting. Now that we've got those in there, let's go ahead. Number one, let me go ahead and duplicate this. Come on. All right. We'll duplicate this just because I drew that on that top layer. And I actually want to drop down the opacity of that because it's really dark right now. It's going to, we're going to have a hard time drawing on top of it. So I'll just clear this back out. Okay. So now that we've got everything set in here, 
we can start exactly the same like we did before. So our nostril is going to fall in underneath this line here. So we'll draw that in and kind of shade in here. That's going to bring us down here to the septum that comes back up into the top part of the nose, follows over into the top. So once again, see the basic shape and form that that takes. We go down and up when it hits that line here bring it back up and follow the nose around like so and then we can go ahead and draw that back part here and then the other part here with the the nostril and like i said just really depends on this what kind of perspective you're using and how far tilted out everything's going to be and then we can bring this around and then your bridge is going to be up here and then from here we can once again bring this down and around and up and this will be the bottom part of the nose underneath you can kind of shade in under there and then shade in on this side and that's going to kind of knock home that that bottom part is under set or set under uh, everything else and you've got the the nice shading there to represent that so that's the three quarters nose once again just stretching those out with the proportions is going to give you different types of noses depending on your character so the final nose we're going to talk about is the profile and this is done from the side so this is a full-on side shot uh, let me get back to that first layer so i don't have to worry about dropping the opacity so once again, a triangle here, and then your other triangle is going to be down here. You see how these come down and around. This one's going to fall underneath. This one's going to come back up. So these are angled a little bit different just because this is the profile view. So now we can draw in our circles. This is the kind of the bulbous part of the nose, and this is going to be the back portion where the nostril is so now that we have those locked in we can go ahead and do our nostril here we'll pull around this part here that houses the nostril and then down and up and around for the top part of the nose and then filling that in. This one's kind of an upturned nose, so it's got a kind of a, a cute little look to it. You can make it more realistic by not having it upturned as much, but there's a few different types of ways to do that. So if you just go more, you know, straight out and down here, once again, it's still gonna be kind of upturned. So if you pull, as you pull this, you might pull this down a little bit more here, as you can see it's going to give a little bit more of a normal nose and not have it as upturned. And that's something you just have to play around with. Um, profiles, I know you don't use a whole lot. It's kind of hit or miss when you'll actually use a profile shot. But having this kind of in your arsenal of available drawing techniques is definitely worthwhile. So those are the different tips and techniques for today's video on how to draw noses. One thing I can really kind of recommend you guys do is just take this base, what we did here initially starting out with the, the overall shapes and the patterns here with the, the triangles and the circles, just draw this repeatedly on a piece of paper, changing the different shapes, changing the proportions, stretching them out, stretching them uh, up and just repeatedly do that, do 20 or 30 on a page and just practice drawing over and over again, coming up with different shapes of noses so you can become an expert at noses. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you like today's video too, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you can get alerted when I post new videos. Uh, and speaking of new videos, next one is gonna be all about how to draw cartoon ears. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. And if you want a cool community to hang out, share your artwork and get feedback and meet cool friends, 
keep creating the learn draw share art community over on facebook the link is in the description for that you can head on over there and join and start sharing and learning it's a really fun place to hang out we've got a lot of people over there we just hit over a thousand members so we want you guys aboard too so hop on over and if you like today's videos if you like the channel and the content that you're getting make sure you check out me on patreon you can back and support the channel now the link is in the description for that as well a bunch of cool rewards and tiers that you can see uh, behind the scenes stuff exclusive patreon tutorials it's all over there so hop on over as for me i can also be found online bjdell.com as well as on instagram and twitter bjdell so until next time keep creating